Hey, how's everyone doing today? In the previous lesson, I gave you this challenge where you have to draw a pyramid with stars. This is a very popular question. In fact, I actually got asked this in my first computer science class. And this question is great because it forces you to use your brain to write some logic. So let's get to it. So before you write any code, the first thing you should do is try to understand the problem and try to find a pattern. So if you look at this pyramid here, we have n equals five, which means that the base will have five stars in total. And in the row above it, you're gonna have three stars. And then in the first row, you're gonna have one star. So instead of thinking of this as stars, we should think of it as a string that we have to output. So basically we have to call print on the first row, where here we have the quotation marks and quotation marks, and then we close out the parenthesis. And here we have two spaces we have to print out and two spaces at the end. And then next we have to print again, and this is the string. So one space here, one space here, and the string. And then we print one more time. And in this print, we don't have any spaces at all. So this is what your program should look like if you have n equals five. So in the previous lesson, we drew a right angle triangle like this, where there are no leading spaces at all. And we just print out the star right away. And then we print two stars, and then we print three stars and etc. However, in this problem, we have to figure out how many spaces we have to print along with the stars. To figure this out, it's very important that we try to look for a pattern. To help you guys better understand this problem, I'm gonna create a table that has two columns, one for the number of spaces and one for the number of stars. First row here, we have four spaces in total and there's one star. In the second row, we have two spaces and three stars. And in the bottom row, we have zero spaces and five stars. So now that we have some numbers, we can do some basic math. If you look here, four plus one will give us five. And five is basically the n value. Two plus three will also give us five. Zero plus five will also give us five. So basically on each row, there are five characters in total. So now this gives us an equation where spaces plus star equals n. And one thing you should also know, as we go down each row, we basically add two stars. So basically, we know what the stars are based on what row we're on. Now to calculate the spaces, we can just do basic algebra, where we can basically move the stars to the other side. So this will be spaces equals n, and then we move the star over, so we have to do subtract star. And this is the equation we'll use to calculate how many spaces we need on each level. So now we can write our code. So let's do define pyramid, and then we take in an n. So now we should create a variable called stars, and we should always start with one star at the beginning. So now we can do a while loop. So while stars is less than or equal to n, and now we can use our formula to calculate how many spaces we need. We have spaces equals n minus stars. So there's one thing that I forgot to mention. Go back to the drawing. So the spaces that we calculate is basically for both the left and the right side. So what we'll have to do is we need to divide this value by two so we know how many spaces we need for each side. So in this example here, we need two spaces on the left and two spaces on the right. Let's go back to the code. So now let's wrap this in parentheses and now let's divide this by two. And now we can print space character multiply by spaces plus star character multiply by stars and then plus space character multiply by spaces. Then after the statement, all we have to do is add two more stars for the next level. That's basically all the code that we need. So now let's test out our code. So let's do pyramid and let's put five. And now let's run our code. And here we ran into an error. Can't multiply sequence by non int of type float. So if you remember from a very early lesson, we talked about different types. So when we're dividing by two, we're actually converting this integer into a float. So to fix this error, all we have to do is turn the spaces back into an integer. We can achieve this very easily by casting this float back into an integer. So all we have to do is put int in the front and open the parentheses like this, and this will turn it back into an integer. So now let's run our code. And here we got our beautiful pyramid. Now we can put 10 here and click run code. And now we get a pyramid with base 10. And we can increase this number to 15 and run. And we can make this pyramid as big as we want because our code is nice and reusable. So hopefully this video taught you how to use some logic to find a pattern inside a problem. I hope that you learned something new. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Peace out.